I'm Joanna Cabrera. I'm Lena Sanchez. Just citizens of the United States have less access to weapons. Americans believe that government has taken a heartbreaking role in too many communities across the country. More than a third of the Americans say they or someone in their household own a gun. Over the past decade in America, more than 100,000 people have been killed as a result of gun violence. The Second Amendment is the right to bear arms, as many may not may know not everyone uses gun safely. According to CDC, Centers of Disease Control, more than 33,736 deaths have been caused to gun violence. Millions have been the victims of assaults, robberies, and other crimes involving a gun. Any of these crimes were committed by people who, who never should have been able to purchase a gun or own a gun. As an example, it's a staggering 80% of gun homicides are gang-related. According to Centers of for Disease Control, CDC, gang homicides accounted for roughly 8,900 of 11,100 gun murders in both 20, 2010 and 2011. That means that there were just 2,200 non-gang-related fire, firearms murders in both years in a country of over 30, 300 million people and 250 million guns. What do you think about people having less access to weapons? Yo pienso que deben de tener más cuidado que personas le dejan eh, dar permiso de usar las armas porque si están mentalmente como una persona bipolar es como no debería de tener un arma ni tener acceso a un arma porque en un momento de que el desequilibrio mental él la puede usar con personas este, inocentes. Entonces deben que tener como background check. Yes, tiene que tener más cuidado eh, en a quién, tiene, a quién persona tiene acceso a las armas de fuego. Ok, entonces tú piensas que personas deben que tener menos como access to weapons? Sí, deben de tener menos personas que si quitaran de, de por sí las armas estaría un, un mundo más mejor sin violencia. Ok, should citizens have less access to weapons? Yes, because um, it, could run, it could land on the wrong hands and use it uh, against students and it could cause um, shootings, um, thefts, and sexual assault against women. So do you think there should be more regulations with weapons? Yes, because it could um, bring down the, the percentage of crimes, thefts, rapists, and uh, and school shootings. school shootings, and that's why they have the security guards for protection. Should citizens have less access to weapons? Thank you, sir. <laughs> um, I'm with it because uh, it could lead to more violence. Uh, citizens or anyone that tries to own a weapon <laughs> should be put to some sort of test or something uh, for them having a gun won't be risky to our society. Oh, having less guns makes it more safe? Yeah, uh, about that, uh, Mr. Jimenez. Um, I think so because um, anyone would have less percentage of dying with someone, you know, that that's crazy of, uh, about having a, a gun and, and, and yeah. Okay, yeah. so they should have more background checks? Yeah, I think so, yeah. All right. It would be better for our society. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. Thank you, sir. In conclusion, um, we agree on having less guns because it will make it safer for the community and it will be better for the people. Like, for example... For the securities, we, instead of um, having people with guns, we could use the securities for own, our own protection. Protection. Well, because, you know, people, you don't know what they have, mental issues, or you don't know what they can do. Security guards will be trained and they will know what to do in a situation, you know, like that. So, out of all the interviews, um, everyone has agreed what we, um, what we asked them about security guards and, you know, keeping the community safe in, because of, you know, you never know what a person can do. So, yes. Um, I agree with them because I think if I were to own a gun, I will probably only use it for protection.